So, Mark, do you, what are some effective techniques you come across to, if, if we want to gain more access to our unconscious, to, because it could be a source of, of nourishment or of, of creativity? Well, um, I, I must uh, confess I, I don't have any uh, special expertise in terms of enhancing creativity, but in terms of gaining access to the unconscious, I mean, the standard method in psychoanalysis, which you can see parallels with what uh, else has been said now, uh, is the free association method, which is a giving, a, a giving up of deliberate, controlled um, a, a sort of a channeling of thought processes and just allowing one's thoughts to emerge. Um, and then trying to report them as fully and as uh, uh, and with, with as, as little censorship as possible. That is the standard, the sort of fundamental technique of psychoanalysis, and it's meant yes, to. Yes, uh, it's meant to. You can see how, in in relation to what I was saying earlier, the sort of prefrontal lobes are this at focused attention is given up, and uh, th then these more implicit mechanisms um, uh, come to the fore. But there's. And this is where the link is with creativity. It's not just giving free rein. There's a, there's a sort of a coming and going. You know, there's, a, there's an observing ego that notices what you're saying and then makes use of it. So it's not just r rambling. It's rambling and then noticing the structure of one's rambles. And then rambling and then noticing, ah, there's a pattern to this. Or one's analyst uh, notices that pattern. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, with dreams, which are another, the analysis of dreams is another sort of standard classical psychoanalytical mm -hmm. technique of gaining access to, to the unconscious. It's really it's just a specialized form of the same thing, except here you're free associating in relation to the dream. So you report the dream, and then you say everything that comes to mind in relation to the dream, and why that is uniquely um, a, a productive of insight into what is normally unconscious is because the dream itself is generated without the prefrontal lobes being you know, part of the story. So you already have something that's pretty unalloyed, you know, instinctual, id-like, um, limbic uh, system sort of uh, functions. Um, and then you free associate in relation to that, so you're going to get even deeper access. So the, normally you don't, in waking life, you don't have a conscious form of these id-like thoughts, but in the dream you do because the prefrontal lobes are offline during sleep. Yeah, and I think that psychoanalysis broadens the spectrum uh, to non-artists, so to speak. And one of my favorite quotes um, is from Einstein. He was asked by Jacques Hadamard how he works. And Einstein, um, this is summarizing, but he said that his real work was visual, muscular, and emotional. And that's where he did the real work. And then, uh, you know, logical science, uh, linguistic or mathematical came later. I think actually that's a very deep insight into creativity, that what we are looking at are very deep motor, visual, uh, pre-linguistic um, parts of us that are activated. 